Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful, a little bit chilly, 48 degrees here on this gorgeous Saturday morning. That would be Saturday, November 6th, 2021. The little dog and I, we are heading south, baby, to the Oasis of Freedom. We are coming through Harrisburg. Pennsylvania. I think I've mentioned that probably apocryphal family legend that I guess it was supposed to be my great great or great 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 grandfather. Who knows at this point you get lost in those generations where these three brothers in the middle of the Civil War, like in the year 1862, these three Yankee Union brothers, you know, war protesters, these major pacifists, they, in the middle of the Civil War, supposedly these three brothers walked out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, headed probably right down whatever used to be here in 1862, and walked to Rogersville, Tennessee, where they married three sisters, one of which was my great-great or great-great-great-grandmother. So as this act of pacifist defiance in the uh, middle of the Civil War, uh, I guess I am a, a product of some radical pacifist, which is, as I say, I have no idea if there's any truth to that story, <clears throat> but uh, well, that's my story and I guess I'm sticking to it because I'm really never going to uh, find that out. So anyway, that was 1862, but it is 2021 and so here I am riding down with all my technology going here. I've got my cruise control going in my gas sucking truck uh, and I've got my little smartphone. I've got my Pandora tunes on. I've got this little robot, uh, you know, this little Google robot. And the reason I have this Google robot on, I'm sure you guys know this about that this little robot warns you about speed traps that if you're coming into a speed trap this little uh, irritating little robot will break into your tunes and tell you there's a speed trap coming up so I am loving my new smartphone with my Pandora and my speed trap warnings and, uh, Riding down the road on this beautiful day, meeting up with brother Kevin Shanholzer for lunch in Hagerstown, Maryland in a little while. Anyway, heading out of Pennsylvania, heading finally, heading the opposite direction of Dulcinea. You know, this is the day I was supposed to have Dulcinea sitting there in the seat next to me. So this is the closest point I will get to Dulcinea. So darling, if you're listening, uh, oh well, you could have been in the seat next to me, but it didn't work out that way. So anyway, um, trying not to think of Dulcinea uh, <laughs> heading across Pennsylvania. So instead, who I'm thinking about for the first time in a couple of years, I have not had a Guy McPherson around in a while so I was uh, I stayed with brother Roy in uh, Allentown Pennsylvania last night and somehow we were hanging out in a uh, on flipping through Doomer shit and Guy McPherson shows up I, I am completely unclear I mean we weren't even clear <clears throat> I don't know, it, it was unclear if Guy had this little flibberty gibbet calling herself a scientist, if, if he was on her show or if she had him 
Oh, wait a minute. Did Guy have the little Fliberty gibbet on his show, or did this little Fliberty gibbet scientist uh, have him on her show? It was uh, a little bit unclear, but you could tell that the main reason that uh, Guy McPherson was agreeing to talk to this little Fliberty gibbet, it was quite obvious uh, why Guy McPherson uh, what was uh, agreeing to talk to this little dingling and uh, let's just say it was it was quite obvious by looking at this scientist this little blonde haired scientist that the that the carpet did not match the drapes uh, I think is the saying I don't think Guy McPherson gave a fuck uh, that this little scientist carpet did not match the drapes so, uh, let's all wish Guy McPherson luck in, uh, consecrating or consummating whatever the word is, that interview. But anyway, it was the usual thing. So I, I, I literally have not listened to this fucker. The last time I listened to a Guy McPherson interview was, when was that, over two years ago, talking about suing journalists for five hundred dollars if they edited him that if you have a an interview with guy mcpherson and you edit it uh and, and you edit the conversation and don't run the whole conversation uh that he will sue you for uh for being a journalist uh, that I guess you have to agree to be, be, if you're a journalist, you have to agree to be being sued for being a journalist. So that was when I stopped listening to that motherfucker. That was literally the last time. So it's been two and a half years, so we're on there, and, and the motherfucker is going right on with his 2026 human extinction horseshit. I mean, I, I mean, this clueless fucking moron is doubling down on it doubling fucking down this little uh, Fliberty gibbet that he was talking to uh, right there with him, right there with him that uh, humans will be extinct uh, within the next five years. That, uh, I, I, I mean, it, just this unadulterated, unadulterated horseshit pouring out of this fucker's mouth. I mean, just, just this stream of, of, of horse shit. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's so outrageous, all of the shit uh, that he was talking. You know, as Roy was saying, uh, you know, that there's no way this fucker can believe this. You, you know, with all I can say about Guy McPherson, he's not a clueless fucking moron. Uh, okay. Guy McPherson is not a clueless moron, uh, so Guy McPherson knows goddamn well uh, that humans are not going to be extinct in five years. And uh, just trying to figure out why this this fucking uh, con man uh, he, he, just. Why is he spewing this unadulterated horseshit? He doesn't believe a fucking word of it. Uh, that little flibberty gibbet he runs around with. Pauline, there's no fucking way uh, that Pauline uh, believes for one fucking second th that, that humans are, are, are going to be extinct. But, uh, the, you know, this little flibberty gibbet he was talking to, uh, he, you know, she believes it. And I'm embarrassed to say some of the people, uh, at least over there at Collapse Chronicles, believe it. I, I'm hoping there is nobody at Humpty Dumpty Tribe so fucking clueless. I, you know, anybody uh, believing that fucking humans are going to be extinct as much as I love the idea of that. Uh, is, uh, it, it, it is, is more clueless. Than, than, than a fucking climate change denier. It, it, it's uh, every fucking word of it. 
is unadulterated horse shit. I have been down in this fucking rabbit hole now, what, for 13 years. I have never seen one iota, not one iota of evidence that humans are going to be extinct. And 100% and of the evidence I have seen is that there's going to be a hell of a lot more fucking humans on this planet in the year 2026 than there are in 2021. Uh, there, there's 250,000 a day uh, joining the goddamn planet. Do the fucking math. Do 240,000 times 1,200 uh, and, and, and get a rough guide of how many more fucking humans are going to be on this, on this fucking planet uh, in the year 26, 2026. You know, I mean, what was some of the shit... Uh, so she was asking these questions. So apparently volcanoes and earthquakes are due to, I, I was a little unclear the dot connecting. Uh, I, I'm a little bit unclear if the ice melting in Greenland is making uh, volcanoes blow in Ecuador or whatever. Uh, so I guess now volcanoes and earthquakes are, uh, according to Guy McPherson, have something to do with uh, humans being extinct in, in the year uh, 2026. One of them that I, that I love, the question was, you know, all of this uh, ice, the, the, you know, these giant ice sheets, I think the word is calving, you know, where the, the, these giant icebergs and pieces of ice sheet break off uh, and, and make these goddamn icebergs the size of Manhattan, you know what I'm talking about. So the question was, some clueless fucking moron uh, wanted to know Guy's opinion if these, you know, these giant icebergs or pieces of ice sheet, whatever the fuck uh, exactly he was talking about, breaking off and falling into the ocean, will those, will that ice crashing into the ocean create <clears throat> tsunamis? You know, giant tsunamis that will roll around the planet, uh, you know, inundating coastal cities around the planet in the next couple of years. Now, Do now, Guy did say probably not from Greenland, okay, but he said by all means, by all fucking means, you can find this uh, interview, I mean, it's out there, I mean, I don't know what this Liberty Gibbet's name is, but you can find Guy McPherson, and he's probably saying in other places that giant icebergs calving off of the Antarctic ice sheet are, are going to slam into the fucking ocean, create tsunamis that will uh, take out coastal cities around the planet. And uh, he was... Well, what were some of these, uh, he was quoting Forbes magazine, Forbes magazine uh, as one of his sources for human extinction in the year 2020, uh, 2026. Uh, let's see, there was something about uh, anybody surviving in 2026, and, and, and it sounds like he means early 2026. So anybody surviving like four and a half years from now will, uh, will be killing themselves or killing each other, that, uh, that anybody surviving will be dying from suicide or homicide. Uh, will be like the leading cause of death. Suicide, homicide, and uh, obviously starvation. He's talking this unadulterated fucking horse shit. 
something about you know of course we've got the nuclear uh, power plants uh, melting down all over the fucking planet in about four years something about the uh, that all of this radiation from the nuclear power plants in four years from now are, 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 are somehow going to I don't know what the word would be melt the atmosphere but in, anyway the 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 atmosphere is going to be destroyed by uh, somehow again I'm not sure of the connection uh, how the uh, the atmosphere is, is going to be destroyed and all of this uh, so people will be dying of sunburn so the leading causes of death for the human race in their final death throes well other than starvation will be uh, suicide, homicide, uh, their skin melting off from, uh, from sunburn caused by the atmosphere being destroyed by melting, uh, by nuclear meltdowns, and of course all of this is due to the infamous blue ocean event uh, happening and uh, it sounds like he's calling 2023 although he says it could happen is 2022 or 2023 one of those years uh, but it sounds like it, it, it is kind of irrelevant uh, whether we have a blue ocean event in 2022 or 2023 uh, we're still it, it, it's still going to be human extinction by 2026 all of this happening from the blue ocean event now again I, 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 I I'm not arguing I, I mean who knows when this fucking mythical blue ocean event uh, is, is gonna happen it, it could happen in uh, uh, I don't think it's going to happen as early as next year, but let's say it happens in 2023. What I have never uh, had explained to me is a big fucking deal. I, I mean, I understand it is going to, you, you know, obviously with the albedo effect and all that shit, it's going to exacerbate uh, global warming. A lot like everything else on the fucking planet is going to be exacerbating, but but I've never seen one iota of evidence uh, that a blue ocean event uh, is going to cause human extinction a, within the next two years. Uh, there 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 is nothing that I have ever read but I have to admit that I'm not that big a reader of uh, of Forbes magazine so maybe maybe if I read that uh, peer-reviewed climate scientist uh, climate science journal Forbes magazine maybe I could understand uh, the connection between the blue ocean event and human extinction within two years and of course you know quoting uh, Sam Carana uh, as one of his go-to people now uh, again uh, no one is a hundred percent sure whether Guy McPherson is Sam Carana so when he's quoting Sam Carana that uh, that he's quoting himself uh, is what the, the, this whole fucking mysterious Sam Carana I guess the the main theory is that this is a woman that Sam Carana is a woman but of course uh, you know a guy is always pushing what is that the Arctic news 
Now there are some decent people on the Arctic News blog spot, blog, but uh, but uh, Sam Carana is not one of them. Any fucking jackass can can get on that. I have no idea why a serious climatologist would uh, would risk their reputation by uh, publishing anything in, in the fucking National Enquirer of, uh, of, of supposed climate journals. It's the biggest bunch of fucking horseshit. As I say, some of it, the, you know, there's some decent information, but trying to separate the wheat from the chafe, but, but you can sure as shit begin with this Sam Carana uh, I, I say there's a 50-50 chance that fucking Sam Carana is, is, is fucking Guy McPherson. Uh, I, 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 again, I, I have no fucking clue why, the, why this motherfucker is, is, is spouting this bullshit uh, to begin with. And, uh, you know, an even bigger mystery is why one human being on this fucking planet would, uh, you know, listen to one single word coming out of that fucker's mouth. Uh, since if he's not a clueless moron, he's obviously a lying sack of shit. And, and uh, he knows it, I know it, uh, Pauline knows it. Uh, he's sitting there spewing this fucking horse shit. Uh, I, you know, I guess he's just a fucking masochist, uh, you know, getting all of these fucking people freaking out, and you better believe, you know, when 2027 gets here, and, uh, and there's more people on this fucking planet in 2027 uh, than there were in 2026, just as, just as there's going to be a shitload more people on this planet in 2026 than there are in 2021, these fucking ass licking toadies are still going to be defending the guy. I, I, I mean, what the fuck is, is he going uh, to be uh, claiming uh, why humans aren't extinct. He's, he's gonna come up with, with, with some fucking bullshit to, you know, to keep selling his fucking uh, fear-mongering Kool-Aid to, to these fucking ass-licking toadies. And they're gonna, you know, they're gonna be uh, fucking lapping it up. Uh, they're gonna be mainlining this fucking Kool-Aid. Uh, in the year 2027, when when he's going to have, you know, when he's going to move the fucking goalpost, uh, you know, a few more years down the line, uh, he's going to move the fucking goalpost. Uh, my guess is when 2027 gets here, my guess is he's going to be saying 2035. He's going to start his fucking bullshit. But anyway, uh, I'm glad to see that you don't see uh, Guy McPherson's name uh, around much anymore. That he seems pretty much to, uh, he, he, you know, he's pretty much has been written off. Uh, the only, you know, the only people clinging to him are those fucking uh, ass-licking toadies, the, those fucking Klingons. Uh, hitching your fucking star to Guy McPherson. He, he, he's a fucking uh, bighorn sheep wildlife manager. Uh, if, if, if you ever want to manage your herd of desert bighorn sheep, alright, if I ever want to manage my herd of desert bighorn sheep, who are going to be fucked uh, by climate change, uh, I will call Guy McPherson. That's what he got his, uh, his doctorate in. Uh, as far as I know, uh, Guy McPherson has never taken a fucking course in climatology uh, any more than I have since the fucking day he was born.
Uh, and my guess uh, is that he hasn't. And, uh, he, you know, of course he was talking, uh, you know, he always has to bring up about how he fucking uh, walked out of his uh, job as a tenured professor in, in Arizona and all of this shit. Well, I do want to thank uh, Brother JJ uh, for explaining to me, Hambone, <clears throat> pull your fucking head out of your ass, okay? There is one way that a tenured professor loses his job, all right? There is one fucking way. Look who we're talking about. We're talking about Guy McPherson. Uh, look at the look at the fuckers track record uh, with these clueless little bimbos uh, like, like that uh, clueless little bitch that he had on or she had him whoever that fucking bitch was uh, look at his fucking track record uh, and, and uh, you decide for yourself if you don't know the one way uh, that a university professor uh, loses his tenure, look it up, Google it. What is the one way that a tenured professor uh, loses, their, uh, loses their fucking job? Thank you, Brother JJ, for explaining that to me, uh, giving me that aha moment. It is not uh, because you think humans are going to be extinct uh, in, in five fucking years. Anyway, let's hope that's my last Guy McPherson rant for a while. Uh, Jesus, would, 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 would someone shut that guy's fucking pie hole? Anyway, I'm going to get back to my tunes, my Pandora tunes, and kick back with my cruise control and my Pandora and my uh, little robot warning me about the police state. Thank you, Google. Get out there and uh, enjoy your Pandora before the volcano blows or a tsunami uh, from a uh, falling iceberg in Antarctica uh, takes you out sometime in the next four years. Bye guys.